Hey there, this is Ellie. Welcome back to my channel where I explore how photography can help with mental health issues. If you're interested in the topic, make sure to watch the video until the end and sign up for more content. I think it's safe to say that 2020 wasn't exactly a bed of roses. And these last days, I kept myself busy by reviewing the past year and in particular, I used the Year Compass booklet to help me guide this reflection. And I'm gonna leave the link to their website and to some more resources in the description of the video. This year, more than ever, this exercise helped me realize how extremely privileged and lucky I am. Um, yes, there is still a pandemic going on out there, but apart from masks and restrictions, I still have things to be grateful for. First of all, my lifestyle hasn't been impacted that much. I normally have the habit of spending time in nature for hiking and taking pictures and I still managed to, to do so even in times of lockdown and social distancing and still in compliance with local policies. The lockdown gave me the opportunity to actually explore Luxembourg and I know it's a teeny tiny corner of Europe but it's a beautiful country with a lot of wild nature and it really was worth exploring and getting to know it better after all this time that I live here. And on top of that I got to travel abroad as well, twice! picking the best possible moments when restrictions eased a bit and there weren't flocks of tourists everywhere. So I decided to go through all of the pictures that I took in 2020, picking my favorites as a memento of all of the reasons that I should be grateful for in this time of distress. Let's start from this picture that I took in Lelingen in northern Luxembourg. The protagonists are these two bridges and I really love the contrast between the two. You have one that's old, austere, harsh, but definitely looks sturdy. And the little one made out of wooden planks. He's definitely more fragile and unstable, but is also colourful and playful. Picture number two was also taken in Luxembourg, uh, in Millertal region to be precise. And I love, love, love the calm and peaceful atmosphere of this place. There is this little bridge in the center of the picture and it's surrounded by so much green and lush. I don't know, I, I find it so soothing. This is a trail in the woods uh, near my place where I normally go running in summer. I actually discovered trail running uh, in summer 2020 to avoid the crowd of people strolling on normal pathways. One day I decided to go there for a walk instead, bring in my camera and this is a picture of my little corner of peace down the road. These are two puffins in Borga Fjordur Estri, I think it's pronounced, and it's a location in Iceland where puffins normally go and nest in the summer. What I love about this picture is the moment of curiosity present in time. There is this little puffin that's looking down, wondering whether it should jump or not, and the friend in, in the back that is studying the situation. And here's some more Iceland. Um, this picture is so moody. I love how the, the mountains have created this cradle of clouds. I find it so minimalistic and simple and yet so expressive. This picture was taken in the Olshani Cemetery in Prague. It's a monumental cemetery with all those ancient tombstones. And when I was there, it was autumn, so the cemetery was lit up in those bright colors or yellow and oranges everywhere. And the contrast 
between the ancient random graves and the red and orange leaves. It was so strong, I found it very fascinating. This was also taken in Prague uh, with uh, a film camera. This one I took when I got lost. I was looking around as I wasn't familiar with the alley and suddenly I noticed the statue of the guy hanging from the pole, like a kind of Easter egg in a way. Another picture of beautiful Prague uh, taken with the film camera. I like the vintage look of this one with the old tram and those beautiful buildings and straight lights and the film gives the picture this grainy look and on top of everything the streets of Prague were empty like there was no tourists around the city was basically just for myself I think this one makes it to the top three I took this picture in Dolny Vitkovica in Moravia Still Czech Republic and I'm in love with the simplicity of it and there are just these few simple elements. There's the crit of the window, the stairs climbing up and just the light bulb hanging right in the middle of the composition. Finally the last picture. One day not so long ago I was in a natural reserve in Luxembourg for a walk. I saw this tree and I fell in love with it with the color the virus in particular. It's so red and intense and the, the contrast, again the branches covered in moss was so strong. 2020 was extremely demanding on mental health. Social distancing and restrictions and isolation were very tough. They created a very tough environment to survive. But good things happen too. As I said, I feel privileged for the way that my 2020 went, but it's not just about being lucky, it's about reframing and being able of finding reasons to be grateful every day and the positive side of things. And this is an exercise that requires practice and a little effort, but it's possible. Thank you so much for watching. I'm uh, wishing you all a healthy and happy 2021. See you next time. Bye.